To me, it's all about, there's only 10% of these guys that are geniuses. That, when I say genius, I'm thinking of a guy like Pete Carrill. The rest of the coaches fall into this 80%. They're all very quality coaches. And to me, when you talk about coaching, you, in college, unfortunately, the first thing you have to talk about is, is he a great recruiter? Because that has an awful lot to do with whether a guy is successful. That's just the way the college level works. But obviously, you want a guy that's good at grain preparation, that can communicate as well. All these things fit to me. And if you, if you look at it, the way I look at it, it's not just the big names, the Hall of Famers. Mm -hmm. It's the guys that do the most with the least. Those are the guys to me I have the most respect for. And if you ask me, I know Tom Izzo's a great coach. I love him. Uh, Tommy Crean, Kelvin Sampson, Bill Self, Rick Barnes. But I'll take a guy like Bob McKillop, who coaches his guys, yep. gets them to play better than people ever could imagine, and also make sure they graduate and get quality degrees. And it's interesting. Not <laughs>